Hey, hello, welcome to the show. It's me, JP. It's time for JP's product pick of the week. That means it's Tuesday. That's how I tell the days of the week. Thanks for stopping by. We've got our YouTube chat. We have our Discord chat. If you're somewhere else like Facebook and you're wondering where to go to find the chat, head on over to Discord. It's at adafru.it slash Discord. And you will look for the live broadcast chat channel right there. Uh, hello to Thin Man for popping in. Hey, Sam J. Ohio, thanks for dropping by. Uh, over in our YouTube chat, we've got uh, a couple people hanging out there. Uh, we've got Tyrone Mix, hello, and Dave Odessa, howdy, and Beata Graf Abdelhagen, howdy. Uh, so, what's going on here? This is the product pick show. I'm gonna show you a product pick, one from the vault, but a really good one and you can decide if it's something you want and get a huge discount on it because we have 50% off today, uh, limit of 10, no resellers allowed, no coupon code required. So you can simply throw them in your cart and get them and go. That price will be in effect throughout the show and then it'll go back up to the regular price just a little bit after the show. So if you're thinking of doing that, go check it out. Uh, how will you check it out? Well, I would recommend that QR code, that URL right there, discount during live stream. Go check that out. It's product ID 4062. Uh, another URL shortener trick, if you don't know, you can go adafru.it slash, and then just that product number, that'll take you there with a shorter address if you're trying to save keystrokes and time. But before I go any further into it, as is customary here on the Product Pick Show, I like to jump back a bit in time to Lady Ada with her new, new, new segment for this week's pick. So take it away, Lady Ada. It's here. Yes, finally, we have the NRF52840 in stock, and we'll be putting more and more in stock. So, um, we, you know, we had a little bit of a, a, a bug that we found at the last minute. We wanted to fix it up before we put it in the store. So this is the NRF52840 Feather. Um, we also have a guide up that just went up right before the show, so you can check that out. It's our fully feather compatible um, native USB Bluetooth chipset. Uh, I really love this feather. It's got everything. It's got USB. It's got analog inputs. It's got native Bluetooth. Um, it's got lots of LEDs. It's got QSPY flash, so you can use this with CircuitPython, and it's really fast. It's got data storage. And, of course, we've tested it with all of our feather wings. And so you can plug 100 in... 100 plus wings. 100 plus wings yeah. from, you know, an OLED to a TFT to Ethernet to, you know, whatever else we come up with, sensors. Um, you'll be able to plug it in. And we have... Uh, Arduino support is done because Arduino support is pretty much the same as the NRF 52832. We have a UF2 drag-and-drop bootloader that um, people are really liking. Uh, you know, if make code ever, ever adds support to the NR52840, uh, uh, this chip, this, this feather will probably be one of the boards you can use it with. But for now, we've got Arduino and we've got um, CircuitPython. CircuitPython, the Bluetooth API we're still working on, but you can use the board itself as long as you're okay with, like, you're not using yeah. the radio quite yet. It's still quite a capable board. It's like one megabytes of flash, like 192 kilobytes of RAM, I think. Uh, Cortex M4, it's, it's running at 64 megahertz. It's a fast chip, like we said. 8-bit's not going to cut it anymore. People yeah. want 32-bit. And when we say Bluetooth, is it Bluetooth, Bluetooth LE? I'm glad you asked. Yeah. Thank you for asking. Well, it's, Bluetooth, it. it's Bluetooth low energy. Yeah. Um, it does not support Bluetooth Classic. That's a totally different protocol. But, you know, most devices don't really support Bluetooth Classic anymore anyway. So this is BLE. And in Arduino, we have a bunch of different uh, examples uh, from making a beacon to having, like, a bidirectional communication with our app. Our app works perfectly with this. Um, just as you would expect. So, uh, you know, you can download that for free. Um, there's a couple other things you can do with this. It can act as a central. Um, some of that code is not, you know, as stable as peripheral because central mode is not as common. Uh, so we suggest it's in peripheral mode. But, uh, you know, we'll be adding more and more central support as well to the NR52-8 family. So this is our first NR52-840 board. Um, getting that first chip set out is always kind of the most fun, exciting, challenging. Um, but we have a lot more shapes. If you have a suggested shape or design that you would like, uh, post it in Discord and we'll check it out. But we, uh, we plan to do more and this is just our first of the family. All right. Hey, all right. That right there is the product pick of the week this week. It is the Feather NRF 52840. 
So I love this board. It is a feather. So you've got a bazillion GPIO pins on it. 21, I think, to be exact. Uh, we've got six uh, ADCs on there, 12-bit ADCs. We've got 12 PWM on there. You have uh, UART, I2C, I2S, SPI, all of the usual things. Battery charging built on board. LiPo battery uh, support right there. Just plug it into the JST connector. It's a feather, but it's a feather that is great for Bluetooth low energy or BLE projects. So you can do things like uh, USB MIDI with it, USB, uh, sorry, USB Bluetooth MIDI, Bluetooth uh, BLE HID stuff for keyboard and mouse. You can use it for remote control projects, for things like uh, remote lighting, for remote robotics. It's uh, really terrific, really easy to interface with. This runs CircuitPython, it runs Arduino. You can use our Bluefruit Connect app as an interface, just ready to go interface that you can uh, tune and tweak all you want to do the things you want, but you've got the UI built right in. Uh, and in fact, I'm gonna show you a demo that uses a side of that that I actually haven't used before, kind of a neat feature of Bluetooth Connect on the phone. Uh, what else do I have to say about this? So it's a Cortex M4 processor. It has a meg of uh, flash, 256K of RAM actually. Uh, there's native USB built onto it. It's got the uh, Bluetooth 2.4 gigahertz radio module on it, which is FCC certified. It has all the certifications on it. Uh, it's also got in the middle here a little SWD pin for debugging. Uh, and I actually used this one time for some very particular issue I was having. I think I bricked a board and I, and I was able to use that on, on uh, Dan Halbert's advice to, to bring a board back to life using that little SWD connector there. Uh, but it can be used for debugging. Uh, and let's, uh, let's take a look at a couple of things. So here is, as I mentioned before, the URL, if you want to go check that out, 4062 is the product page. And speaking of product page, there it is. So for today, we have this uh, just during the show on deep discount. $12.48 is a real steal for such a fully featured feather board, fast, capable, and this excellent BLE uh, capability that it has. You've got a uh, little link down here, if you keep scrolling, to a bunch of different guides, including the main learn guide. So if we take a look at the main learn guide here, you can see all of the features of it. We've got a nice pinout page here. Uh, there is a page about updating the bootloader. I actually had to do, do that because this came out originally in 2019 and I found this one in a drawer that I had not updated. So didn't want to accept current versions of CircuitPython but I followed the instructions on our update bootloader page, got uh, a modern bootloader on there and was able to put uh, the latest circuit Python on there. Uh, we also have some examples of getting Arduino on there, uh, getting circuit Python on there, example sketches to use, some, uh, some little simple uh, setup to make sure everything's working. Uh, but then you can get into projects. So if, if you look, I think just down at the bottom of the main uh, guide. No, actually at the bottom of the product page is a link that says see all guides. Uh, and that shows up when we have a lot of learn guides that use a product. So if you click on see all guides, you'll see here we've got uh, some intro Bluetooth things. We have some little sample projects. Uh, I've got my BLE light switch with Feather NRF52840 uh, and Cricut over here. It's actually still in use. I'll, I'll demo that in a moment, uh, turning off the overhead lights with Bluetooth, which is super convenient because it's a pain in the neck to get to that light switch uh, when I'm in here. Uh, you can see a bunch of other neat remote projects, some projects uh, such as HID keyboards here that allow you to do BLE keyboard. Uh, you can roll your own. We have a neat little synth project from Liz. Uh, and on and on, there are these uh, peripheral uh, Bluetooth devices like um, bicycle sensors that you can use with it on BLE, some fairly well-known uh, standards for that, for uh, various health things like pulse oximeters and scales. Uh, you can connect those to this with BLE and uh, a bunch of other neat projects in here. So go check those out. Uh, and I'd like to show something in action here. So let me, let's go to the down cam and I'll keep this camera up here so you can see what's going on. Uh, here I have a feather. It's plugged into a little feather quadrupler board just for convenience so I could plug in some NeoPixels. I have a NeoPixel ring here. I'm just going to cover that 
with diffusion plastic so that it's a little more visible on camera. I uh, happen to have a battery plugged in, uh, but I'm also connected over USB, so that's charging the battery right now, but we'll be able to see data in the REPL in a moment. Uh, but check this out. I'm going to hold my phone up here, and you can see I'm using the built-in IMU on the phone, which is a really sophisticated set of sensors. You've got gyro, magnetometer, accelerometer, uh, what else? The, uh, it'll output quaternions as well, if that's more useful, uh, as well as location, latitude, longitude. So you can send that data, stream that data over Bluetooth. I can even turn off, you can see I've got the, the uh, BLE app. I'll show that in more detail in a second. I can shut that off. It's still sending Bluetooth, just like you usually send, you know, BLE, uh, keyboard or audio, if it's over classic BLE, any, or classic Bluetooth, any of those BLE things will send over the air, right, no wires, over to my Feather NRF 52840, which is then just driving these uh, NeoPixels here. And just for, for this simple demo, I'm only using one axis, uh, the x-axis here of, of the phone, uh, but you can, let me uh, bring this into view here, and show you, you can see if I want to enable this, uh, I can disconnect. You can see I'm finding two different, uh, one is my light switch over there. I'll show that. If I connect to that one and go to the controller, I have code on that one that uses the up and down arrows on the control pad to turn on and off the lights. You can see my little light, lighting change there. Uh, and I'll disconnect from that one and connect to the one sitting right here. See, it has the stronger signal. And now if we go to controller, these are all phone streaming data. So you can grab quaternions, you can grab the accelerometer data, gyro, magnetometer, and I won't show location. Uh, so if we go back to accelerometer here, you'll see X is at about zero uh, when it's flat. If I turn it to the left, that number is going to go towards negative one, and that'll light up half of this ring. And if I go over to the right, that's going to, well, of course, it's going to flip all the phone stuff. Uh, it's going to go to positive one and light up the ring. The way this looks in code, let's switch to that view right there. Uh, so same thing. You should be able to see the demo pretty nicely there. Uh, I'm also spitting out that, printing out that data here to the REPL. So I'm just saying, okay, what accelerometer data is coming from the phone? And then uh, let's just highlight that roll value, that X roll value, which is what I'm using to light up the LEDs. Uh, so this is what the important part of the code looks like. We, in CircuitPython, we're going to import the Adafruit BLE, BLE radio, uh, advertising so that it'll show up and be something you can pick on your device, in this case, my phone. Uh, UART services are used to send these messages. Uh, packets are used to take those, those message packets and uh, encode or decode them. And in particular, I'm grabbing the accelerometer packet. We can also look at all those others, but for simplicity in this case, I'm just looking at the accelerometer. Uh, then I do some NeoPixel setup here. I have a little function here for updating the NeoPixels based on the X accelerometer data, as well as what color we're gonna use. I'm just flipping between two colors. Uh, and then if you look at the main loop here, we start advertising that we are a BLE device. You can also change the name of it. I left mine as the default CircuitPython uh, string, but you can give things a name so they're easier to find. Uh, sometimes that requires a restart of some of the devices uh, to find it, like the client device, so it'll find the new name. And once we're connected, we are checking for UART messages to come in. Uh, we will grab a packet from that stream, and if it's an instance of the accelerometer packet, then we'll unpack that packet into a variable that gives us the X, the Y, and the Z. Uh, and then we're just checking for whatever that X axis is. Uh, that's what this little roll is here. We can use that to call the, the pixel ring to fill in the pixels uh, based on the accelerometer data. So really, I think a, a neat example of using, you don't have to make your own accelerometer, you probably got this in your pocket if you want to control things. Uh, there's a lot of different axes of control that you can use to drive a project uh, pretty reliably. So uh, that is a, a, a neat little example, I think, of some BLE in action. Uh, and let's see, let me check on the chats, see does anyone have any questions? Uh, no, okay, so if I'm not, 
forgetting anything, I'll, uh, I'll bring up these nice images here so you can see uh, our nice little pin out there. Uh, there's not much to it. It's, it's uh, typical to most of our feather boards, but that means that it's compatible with a whole bunch of feather wings. You can add displays, inputs, plug them into the doublers and the triplers and quadruplers if you want to stack up a bunch of boards with your feather. Uh, and as I mentioned, it has the uh, battery charging built in, so we can make everything wireless on all ends, run us off of a battery, charge it over the feather, and, uh, and it's ready to go. Uh, let's see. I'll wait a moment just to see if we have any other questions. I'll also remind you, if you want to go grab one, head to that URL right there. It's 4062. Uh, and I think that'll do it. So let's wrap this up. Uh, that, hold this so I don't break things. That right there is the product pick of the week this week. It is the Feather NRF52840 with BLE. For Adafruit Industries, I'm John Park. This has been JP's product pick of the week, and I will see you soon. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.